Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to ask you a quick question. Are you suffering from horrific hallucinations? I know you're looking at me like, woman, are you crazy? Well, I'm asking you, are you crazy? Okay, this is the reason. There is a definition in Webster, and I want you to hear it. Hallucination means an experience involving the apparent perception of something not present. Mm -hmm. Where are we going with this one? Wow. Listen to this. When you are going through relationships, you got a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, father, son, daughter, you know, all of that. What ends up happening is some of you have very rocky relationships and you wonder why? What's wrong with everybody? And it's not always the case that something is wrong with everybody. Yeah, sometimes there is something wrong deep down in here. And you can't point the finger because you have to first deal with the internal perception of your life. Now, when I ask, are you hallucinating? We don't realize, when we think of hallucination, I know when you think of it, you think, oh, well, I don't do drugs. Well, okay, that's good. Or you're not an alcoholic. Okay, that's good. But do you know you could still be hallucinating? And I explain why. When you are under the influence of a drug or any kind of substance abuse, you will look around and, boy, you start getting what they call high. And I don't know why they call it that word, the way some people trip. I mean, it's a bad trip. Well, sometimes you get people that trip so hard that they're looking around and there are things crawling up and down the walls and they're freaking out. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, don't let it hurt me. Don't let it hurt me. And, I mean, they are freaking. Or maybe they see dogs, a pack of dogs coming at them and they want to run or they want to grab a knife and try to, you know, protect themselves from something that is not there. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you. Do you realize you do the same thing psychologically, emotionally? When a person is talking in your ear and they say A, B, C, D, E, what you might hear is F, U, C, K, Y, O, U. And you're sitting up here thinking the person is attacking you and they're criticizing you and they're making snide remarks. Well, why did you have to say it like that? And people are looking at you like, oh, this girl is high maintenance. This man, oh, I don't know if I could hang with him. He is too, he trips. He is on one of his trips. Well, the, the high maintenance level is there because you are seeing and hearing and receiving and perceiving through a filtering of emotional baggage. You have heard people put you down when you were young. And when a person gives you a compliment, in your mind, you think there's a snide remark behind the compliment and there's a smirk hidden behind the smile. So instead of you receiving the compliment, you're like, Tch. and there's attitude. And people are wondering, why are you so full of attitude? And you may not even be aware of how damaged you are. It's like a person who's been uh, hit by a car and they don't heal correctly and they walk with a limp. Well, to them, it's a limp, but to you, it might be like, wow, what happened to them? Because they don't see themselves from a 360 degree view. They only see what they present in the mirror. And we always put our best foot 
forward in the mirror, don't we? But when we turn around and people see us from the rear, that's a whole nother vantage point there, buddy. We don't see that. So we come across at times as a little cuckoo or a little loony when people are looking at us from behind, when people are looking at us from all different angles. We don't see ourselves like they see us. We don't hear ourselves like they hear us. They hear a paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> they hear somebody who is so tripped out with their emotions and so skittish and, and I mean, so argumentative. And they start an argument on, well, what did you mean by that? Well, why did you have to say it? Well, I don't appreciate it. And everybody's looking at you like, huh? What? Are they on something? Do they drink? They've been smoking? I mean, sometimes people want to ask you, what have you been smoking? What are you on? We try to have a good time, and here you come with all this, this stuff. Ain't nobody picking on you. You're not the center of the universe. We're trying to have a good time. But you are so full of emotional pain that you cannot enjoy. You cannot receive real love because you know sooner or later the axe is going to fall and you're going to see why they're really with you. They either want to screw you or they want to take your money or they want to play you or something's going to happen. Something, something. You're not this nice. There's no way you're really that nice. It's all about emotional baggage, y'all. Emotional scars. You are hallucinating. Now we're going to deal with the other extreme. Some of y'all are blind. I mean, writing's on the wall and you just refuse to see it. Anyway, but we're dealing with you hallucination people right now. <laughs> Hallucinogenic, paranoid argumentative, confrontational, high-maintenance people. That's what we're dealing with. All that means is you need to be healed, just like I needed to be healed. We all need healing. We may not want to admit it, especially some of you with doctorate degrees and credentials and pedigrees from left to right and up and down and round and round. Yeah, that's fine. But you still are damaged goods. And from time to time, from decade to decade, God will sit you down and take you through a healing process if you are humble enough to say, I need help. If you're humble enough to look at yourself through the eyes of truth and say, something is amiss here. I am a mess. So I ask you to go to God. Get the healing you need. Ask him to heal you. Ask him to help you understand why you respond the way you do to certain types of stimulus. Ask God to help you understand you. And ask God to take all the heal out. I mean, <laughs> take all the hurt out. And put all his healing in you. In the name of Jesus. And you will be amazed at the difference. Even the way other people respond to you, that too will change for the better. Trust me on that one. Yeah, Mama Sita here from experience of self knows what I'm talking about. God bless you.